All right, class, I'm going to walk you through how you will be creating your children's book for the Heredity Project. Uh, the first thing you need to recognize is that eventually you are going to be creating a booklet, an eight and a half by 11 book that will be bound, stapled together, and have your blank pages on the inside. Uh, because we're binding it with staples on the edges, you will lose about three quarters of an inch of drawing room on your papers. So here's what I'm recommending. First thing you should do is mark off a three quarter inch line on every paper that you're going to draw on. You will finish all the drawings and writing before you put it into the binding. Why do that? If I bind it together and then I try to draw on the pages and I make a mistake, then I gotta undo all the binding, then I gotta rebind it. That's just a hassle. So finish everything. Make sure that these loose pages are your final product. And they should all be clean. Keep them safe, keep them clean. If you're storing them in the room, put them in a place that is very safe so that they don't get wrinkled. After I've done all my drawings on my paper and I can use different formats, I can either use a picture center format where I have words on both the top and the bottom. I could use a, a picture on the bottom, word on the top format. I could use a word bubble format are upside down lovely or I could use a picture on the top words on the bottom format whatever format you're using please make sure you use that consistently after I'm done with that I'm going to put it into the binding this piece of paper is too big for these eight and a half by eleven so what I need to do is I'm going to trim a little bit off of both the bottom and the side of this piece of paper. So I need to do a little bit of measuring right now. Okay? And I'm gonna see how I'm lining this up so that there's just a shade of black showing around the top corners. That will help get me the alignment that I need for my book cover. Then I'm going to just very carefully press this so that I can fold down and line up the edges. Remember, I'm not folding it in half. I'm folding it to fit the paper. And what I did in that case was now I have about a three inch, three quarter inch strip on this side that I can use later on. And I have about a three quarter inch slip on the bottom. So I'm going to actually cut those off right now. Okay, so I'm gonna use the straight edge cutter and my ruler because it's a little bit harder to see. So here we go, three quarters inch, boom. There's my three quarter inch, I got it all lined up. Pull that out, use my fingers to hold that down. Gently put it down, okay. And then this one I can see so I'm not so worried about the ruler. Okay, I'm lining that up and one more. All right, now hopefully if I did it correctly and feel free to use two if you need to, if I did it correctly, when I put that in the edge there, I should have, yes, a lovely border around that, probably about an eighth of an inch border around that. And it's even and it's flat and it's ready to go. Um, these will become your binding later on. Okay, so we're actually just gonna put that right on the top there and cover up the staples on the cover. The back staples will show, that's no big deal. It's just the front cover will make it look nice. Okay, so I'm finished, I staple. And I'm going to staple very carefully, very straight, right on the edge, quarter inch in, no more than that. One, two, oh, I messed up a little bit. I did not carefully check it. Please make sure you check it so that there's no leak at the bottom. Okay? And put my glue on. Okay? You can put the glue on the cover or on the strip. I'm just rushing through. I shouldn't be. Okay. Cover that, and you are ready to go. This will end up being your cover. You are more than welcome to put a piece of paper on the front for that. 
Uh, you can use any color you want, black, red, blue, brown, whatever. Um, you can draw directly on the cover or you can put a piece of paper on there to finish it.